<laughs> so I've had one stick fighting lesson, so I'm pretty much a stick fighting expert. A master. Stick fighting for self-defense is obviously kind of stupid, but fighting a stick in self-defense is not. So I've got Ed from Metro Line of Martial Arts. He's going to show me, like, actually how to defend against a stick-like thing when you don't have a stick. This, the idea that it's going to be like a fight where we're like doing this stuff. Here. I don't know how to do this, all right? So don't, all right? That's not real. You said you're an expert. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. It, you are correct. Most people don't carry sticks around to fight each other. And if they do, where are you? Yeah. So, yeah, you're, you've done some things wrong. You, but, but it's not unreasonable that a bad guy might have a stick-like implement and want to hit you with it. Correct. Yeah. Right. And then if you follow certain people, they'll teach you when you swing it here, they're going to block it with your hands. Oh, like block the stick? Yeah. People teach that? People teach that. I was that. expecting, I do know enough to know that you're going to have to close the distance. You either close or you exit. Yeah. But then there's those people that don't know where to go. So they'll stay here. You'll break your arms. Right. Have a good time. Just block it. Yeah, just, just block, block it, bro. Why not? So, <laughs> and then one from that block, you know, you do cool little kung fu moves. To the stick? It. Yeah. They got cool stuff like that. Dude, if you're teaching that stuff, you can't fight. <laughs> yeah. You're not wrong. Yeah. Well, he had, if he's got gauntlets. If got, yeah. If I have gauntlets, I'm totally just going to go and then bink. Yeah. But uh, unfortunately, no. You have to either close the distance or you have to create distance. Okay. And most of the time, you're not going to have time to create. Uh, or excuse me, yeah, create distance. Because if you would have done that. Yeah. You, yeah, are, yeah, yeah. you see a guy with a stick on the street, you're going to be like, yeah, you're not gonna walk up to him. I'm not gonna be like, oh, a guy with a stick. Let me go over here. Let me go over here. Let me go do my self defense. Exactly. Put so. That, put that stick down. Yeah. Yeah. Because, in my personal opinion, I would rather intercept a backhand than a forehand. Okay. Um, the reason being is it, there's a split second right here where you can close in. Yeah. And you, if you get close enough, that's when blocks work. Right. But the problem is, is that. Also, this shot is usually, from most regular people, not as powerful as Generally, this shot. So it's more going against like Andre Agassi in the back. Yeah. Back and then you're going to. Yeah. But that's if you have the time to create space, you can come here and now you come in and can crash here. Okay. The, the idea with the crash on the backhand specifically is when I created that space and I come in, I'm coming in here. This is the finger jab in my perfect world where I can finger jab people just like that. And then I'd stop here and then pull it to me is in the perfect world. And then, then I can do cool little disarms that don't work. Now, in the other realm, right, where it's like I don't have, I don't want to have that time. Right. Because I'm already here. It is just the crashing in here. Okay. Which is, uh, you see Daniel Cormier, you know, and you see UFC fighters do the same thing against the, the big punches. The just big punch. cover and go all the way. All the way. You in. just can't half-ass it. Correct. It's like going off a ramp on a bike. You'll be fine if you just go. It's when yes. you go halfway and... Yeah, and so my biggest problem with like Filipino martial arts is they teach you all this flowery stuff that doesn't work. Because you'll come in and you're like, oh, here, I got here, here. And then you do all this weird stuff. Meanwhile... You just took a big yeah. hit with a stick. So the idea here is when you go in and then I'll crash, boom, is the same principle here. Now I'll keep this close to you, or keep this close to me, excuse me. And then I can use this to go and train into right. that. And typically, weapon fixation is a real thing. Correct. So if you wrap this thing up, boom, here. He's gonna be obsessed with like, oh, I gotta get my weapon back. Exactly. And maybe he may hammer it on you. You still have to know how to box and, and wrestle and all that shit. Yes. But. So all the way in or all the way out, basically, is the moral of the story. Right. And once I get here now, I can start to... Yeah, so here, here, I'll tell you where I'm at, and then you can show me, like, a technique. Sure. I am plenty enough familiar to know that I need to either be all the way out yeah. or all, all the, the way, way in. Right. But when I get here, I, know, I mean, I know how to... Under, I yes. grab, grab and punch, duh. Yeah. Can you show me something a little more... Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> this I'll actually land in sparring relatively frequently is when I get here, I'll come there. Bullshit. Boom, boom, I have, boom, boom. I, There's no way that would make a stick come out of somebody's hand. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you kick it? No, dude. What? Let me see. for real. So here, boom, and I'll catch. <laughs> it's this. Man, you suck. <laughs> Now, I have landed this in sparring, cause, and it's terrifying. Wait. Here, because the idea... You spar with a stick? Yeah. Oh, wow. Because it's terrifying. I'm not going to that gym. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like, okay, jujitsu, get a stick. Slow. Yes. So once I'm here, this comes up, 
this comes down like that. So this one here is doing the overhooking motion. This one's on the inside. Once it's up, that's the motion there. So one more time here, I crash in. You want to pull the stick back naturally. I'll let you. That makes it easier. Yeah. yeah. And now I have all that. Love you, bitch. You know, it's like the same thing with the hammer. Somebody else grabs it, grab up top. Yeah. Rotate mm -hmm. it. So. Because their wrist is going to let go. I'm here. Bang. Mm. Snake it like that, lifting it up. Now, you have several ways. The way I was doing it. Is this it, hand? Yes. And then you make that motion there. And it feels you gotta super. Give them that, you got to yeah. give them that. Uh, that pop on the forehead. Yeah. <laughs> Bam. So again. Boom. That's it. Yes. Look at him. He feels good now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you get to end it looking cool. Yeah. He feels good. Yeah. Boom. Yes. And you, you can do it. I did it earlier. Yeah. 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 It's actually, we're sort of slowing it for the sake of learning it. You know, we're doing it kind of slow. But I, I would say, like, uh, even. Starting this one earlier, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Getting it. Yep. So the idea, because like, I've heard Ryan Hoover talk about this, is gross motor movements. Yeah. Right? And if you do something like they teach in the Philippine martial arts, one here, I pull in, I pull that, or do something. Yeah. That's a lot. This is just mm -hmm. brush block. Like, yeah. there's a lot of, this is a present in a lot of martial arts. This is 100%. Pre this is the similar arm mechanics. It's like, executing an arm drag or a brush blocker. This, this is present in a lot of things. Correct. So using it here to, to create that type of motion. Yeah. Worst case scenario here is that maybe I don't get that out, but I'm still close enough here now. Monitoring it, I yeah. Can, I can not get hit. At least we're 50-50 maybe. Yeah. yeah, well I don't get hit with the full power block. Yeah. Boom, here, and then if I get it out, now yeah. I can come in and yeah. I can start to come in and do wrestling things. Wrestling things. Yeah. That's probably the big the big thing is, is what most people do is they rely on these sort of like cool, more esoteric techniques. Mm -hmm. And then if they don't work, they're like, what now? Well, you need to understand controlling limbs or, you know, getting to the outside or doing other things. Right. So, but it's possible. Yes. You, you hit that in live sparring. Yeah. Boom. Boom. And just that. Yes. <laughs> Go check out Ed's channel. I'll put a link in the description below. It's uh, Metro Line of Martial Arts. He covers like, Bunch. like everything, like Jeet Kune Do, stick fighting, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, striking, like, like everything. He's a he's a real martial artist. <laughs> so Hey! Stop yelling. Cliff, are you okay? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> so I've had one stick fighting lesson, so I'm pretty much a stick fighting expert. A master. But you know what's not realistic? Stick fighting? Wait. I'm I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they were stick fighting over there earlier. Yeah. Yeah. You've already seen me at stick fight. Um uh, stick fighting in Filipino martial arts sucks pretty bad for self-defense. The main reason being 